Yes, AI is taking on your gaming experience and the development is not stopping. Only a while ago, you and I were surprised that you could build simple games like Snake in seconds just from a prompt in ChatGPT or Claude. But things are getting better by the day and we're starting to see more complex fully AI generated interactive environments. In today's video, you get an overview of the best AI video game generators. Let's start with the model that gained attention by integrating AI with one of the most iconic games ever. Minecraft. It is called Oasis and went viral because it can generate a Minecraft world incredibly well in real time. Okay, incredibly well is an overstatement, it more feels like a fever dream of Minecraft. It has been trained on millions of gameplay hours and you can pick various scenes to play in. Then it generates the Minecraft world in real time based on the user's inputs. You can walk around, chop some blocks, etc. You can also upload your own scene, but when I did, it was even glitchier. But maybe that was because I didn't upload a Minecraft scene. Obviously, there are plenty of flaws here. For example, if you turn around, it doesn't remember what has been generated before. It's also very slow and it just overall looks very diffusion-like. But still very impressive because it requires extremely low latency to get this to work. Currently, it takes the model 47 milliseconds per frame, but they want to optimize this even further using an upcoming transformer ASIC, which is a specialized type of hardware designed for efficiently handling transformer-based AI models. This promises to make the model run in 4K resolution and serve more users. They also raised $21 million in seed funding to keep pushing this development. While Oasis is focused on open world generation, Game Engine takes a different approach, bringing classic games like Doom back to life with AI. Game Engine, developed by Google Research, has the interface, the interaction and the map of Doom displayed accurately. It generates 20 frames per second running on a single TPU. TPU stands for Tensor Processing Unit, a specialized AI accelerator developed by Google to handle machine learning computations much faster than traditional CPUs or GPUs. Now this model, like any other model, has to be trained obviously. And the way they do it is quite interesting. First, they have a reinforcement learning agent that learns to play the game. These sessions are then recorded basically like an AI Let's Player, to collect training data. Then they train a diffusion model, in their case a tweaked version of Stable Diffusion 1.4, to produce the next frame based on the past frames and actions. In other words, while the model might not remember in a human sense, it explicitly incorporates the historical sequence into its predictions to maintain consistency over time. But wait until you see the next generator that has a similar name but a completely different functionality. And that is Game Gen X by Tencent. This AI generator takes world creation to a whole nother level, leveraging a massive dataset spanning over 150 games. Developed with researchers from Hong Kong University of Science and Technology and the University of Science and Technology of China, GameGen X can generate detailed and dynamic open world environments based on both text and video prompts. It supports prompts like an ice magician or an angel watching over a holy kingdom, allowing for highly specific and imaginative scenarios. Users can influence the environment using instruction prompts, such as fire on the sky or sunset happens, which affect environmental factors like lighting, weather and the time of the day. The model also supports camera perspective control, that means first person or third person, and dynamic actions like driving and flying. What sets Game Gen X apart is its interactivity. It features real-time control at up to 20 FPS and with the help of a module called InstructNet, it enables immediate reactions to user inputs. Environments can be altered on the fly with structural instructions and user-driven character actions. However, one limitation noted in their demos is a stylistic bias towards cyberpunk, medieval fantasy and eastern aesthetics, likely a reflection of the dataset. Now for clarity, if you search about GameGen X, you'll also likely come across GameGen O, but to me it's not really clear how they are different or if they are even different, so I just want to mention that here. But to give you a better sense where GameGen X stands compared to other AI game generators, let's take a quick look at this comparison table on their official paper. Now you can see that many earlier models like GameGan from 2020 or Game Engine focused on specific games and character control, often with much lower resolution and limited interactivity. Genie 1, 
not Genie 2, which we'll come to in a second, brought up much better visuals, but only for very short. Others like Mario, VGG or Diamond were largely experimental, focusing on narrow domains like Mario or CSGO. So with all that in mind, it's time to take a look at one of the most cutting edge developments in this space, and that is Genie 2 by Google DeepMind. Genie 2 shines with raw visual fidelity and a radically different approach to real-time world generation. After the impressive capabilities of the original Genie 1, Genie 2 takes this technology to the next level by enabling fully interactive, detailed and playable 3D from just a single image or text prompt. What makes it so special compared to all the other models is its ability to generate persistent environments that remain stable for up to one minute. Genie 2 remembers details even when they are out of the screen. With this so-called long horizon memory, it can reconstruct scenes as they come back into view, an essential step in AI-generated gameplay. The key features that look very promising are realistic effects like water flowing, gravity, smoke and object interactions, and also the lighting is very fine-tuned with shadows and reflections. And of course adds an entirely new layer of realism and depth into the gaming experience. Genie 2 is built as a large-scale foundation world model trained on a massive data set of videos. It uses what's called an autoregressive latent diffusion model, a powerful AI framework optimized for sequential data, which is why it handles time and space continuity very effectively. This sounds complicated, but to simplify it, First, it takes the video data and compresses it into smaller hidden representations using an autoencoder. These compressed frames then go into a transformer model, the same type of model that GPT for example uses. This transformer predicts each next frame based on what came before. It also uses something called classifier-free guidance, which lets you control the actions and outcomes. But even Genie 2 just represents one part of a much larger movement in AI-driven game development. Of course, all of the big tech companies want to get a piece of this pie. For example, Elon Musk's AI gaming studio has been rumored to develop next-generation AI-driven game engines. The goal is to create games powered entirely by generative AI using the same models that are currently shaping chatbot and vision systems. This will definitely accelerate developments in this space. The real value might even be collecting training data from the gameplay. Data that could later be used in other models, maybe for self-driving cars, robotics or virtual assistants. And besides Musk, established game engines like Unreal Engine start to also integrate more and more AI capabilities into their software for characters, 3D models, lighting and so on. And also Electronic Arts released a game builder that is based on AI and allows for a text to game prompting feature. Pretty insane times. And with that being said, thank you so much for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Leave your like, subscribe and of course comment if you have something to say. See you in the next one.